Hi, today I want to talk about self-worth and knowing your value, basically, in this life. Like, um, we're all born under different circumstances, um, and we don't know, you know, like, you know, what cars we dealt with at birth. But um, there's something I recognize in this life, and and it's um, how people lose their sense of self how people lose their how people give away their power basically um how people um mortgage you know their value and their self-worth um it's is it, it's a disturbing thing really it's um brings a lot of anxiety it keeps somebody on um, on, a, on a chain, basically, to that thing or that person that you're worshipping or looking up to. And it's really sad, you know, that, it, that in life um, we, we refuse to know, to believe um, in ourselves. We refuse to to honor the the magnificent spirit that's that's within us, and when you don't honor that spirit, the life that you're going to live basically is a life of servitude, which is not what is meant for you. Nobody's meant to live that kind of life. Um, yes. You need help. Everybody needs help. I need help. Um, I'm sure we all need help in life. Um, life is an interdependent relationship between people. And we're all going to need help at every point in time. Um, the key to the help and getting the kind of help that you need from the kind of people that you need to get it from um, is by understanding who you are is by recognizing the kind of energy that people bring to the table. It's not every kind of help that you need. It's not everybody's um, assistance that you need to get. There are some that you have to reject for the long term, for your, for your, for your long term health, for your mental health, for your physical health. And it's easy because life takes us through a journey. And this journey um, exposes us to different kinds of people. And if you look back on your life and on your journey, you understand what I'm trying to talk about. You will know that you've already met the kind of people that you shouldn't be dealing with. And you have met, of course, on your, on your track, the, um, the kind of people that you should have that you probably have a good relationship with and it's amazing that we don't um, recognize these things we don't observe because it's very it's very clear some people are sent you know as angels you're never you're not going to um yes we're all going to die but you're not going to um to perish you know due to due to your anxiety and your fears, it's not going to kill you ultimately. So what I do personally, you know, is to is to take in the anxiety. I'm a master of anxiety. I live with anxiety. I live with it every day. I've lived with it for a very long time. And I understand anxiety. It's not my enemy, it's my friend. I understand fear. I live with it. I live with it every single day. There's no day I don't wake up without it. So fear is one of my best friends too. But my point here now is that um, it's, it, it's, um, it may not seem easy, but it is it is recommendable, you know, for you to cut off. Any relationship that brings you constant stress. Um, there's nothing wrong with cutting off people. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I've cut off family members. I've cut off a lot of people. And it has released me um, 
to do what I, to do what is best for me. Um, it has opened the space, you know, for the few people that mean well, you know, to be around me and for me to surround myself with them and get the help that I can get from them and also offer my own my own help to them. And it's been a very wonderful journey so far. Um, so if you're afraid of cutting off people, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure what to, what to tell you. Uh, life is probably going to teach you um, that you need to cut them off. If you feel that because they are, you were born with them in the same family, that that's the reason why you should stay there and endure abuse and endure disrespect, then I really have not, not much to say to you. If you're enjoying it, carry on. If you're not enjoying it, um, life, is, life is going to show you the way out. <laughs> and you're going to make the decision by yourself to leave when it's time for you to leave, if it's ever going to be time for you to leave. Um, my advice is just that, you know, you cut off um, ugly relationships, basically. Nobody's perfect. You could be ugly. I may be ugly to some people. I might be toxic to some people. I have no idea. And I pray that they cut me off too. Um, so everybody hangs around their own concentric, their own concentric circle, you know. Um, and that's how it's meant to be. We live in communities. Um, your community doesn't have to be determined by, uh, by bloodline or by, you know, like, I don't know, I read it somewhere, you know, that blood determines your relatives, but your energy determines your, um, your inner circle, your, your friends, your family, basically like your real soul family. Um, your, your family is where, is where you're happy. Your home is where you find peace. Um, it doesn't have to be where your family, where your relatives, blood relatives live. That may or may not be your home. Your real home, your true home, is where you find peace. So, I didn't articulate all this. I didn't, um, well, I don't write anything down. I just come and, I just come and ramble, you know, most of the time. So, Yeah, I think I the message I got for today, the download I received for today, you know, is that we should have you should have some self worth. You should believe in yourself. You should have some pride in who you are. You should have some pride in your journey. You should be grateful for how long you have lived. Um you should honor your spirit. You should honor the intelligence that's within you. Um, you should use that intelligence too. You should understand that you're not you're not forsaken. You should understand that um, the universe is always going to protect you. You should understand that you're a you're a child, you're a seed of the universe, and you're here for a purpose, you're meant to bloom, you're meant to grow, you're meant to produce um, fruit. So if you don't, if you're not doing that and you don't feel that you're doing that, then you're probably doing yourself and your family and the people around you a disservice by not being who you are, by not um, tending to your own to your own growth and I know you can do it I'm trying to do it it's not easy but I found that, that along the way once you're on the right path once you find your path um, everything conspires in your favor everything you know works out in your favor everything is working for you not against you it's not happening to you is working for you. Um, all the negative things, all the rejections, the reason why they're happening 
it's, it's to direct you to where you should be. And if you don't listen to the signs, if you don't listen to the um, to the omens, if you don't pay attention to the to the road signs on the, on your way on your path, you're going to lose. You're going to miss your way. And I'm sure uh, anybody watching this video must have missed their way. You must have lost your path. You must have lost your direction. You know, at some point, and you're probably on your way back. So there's no end. To, there's no end to this journey. There's no end to what we're doing. It's just a continuous flow of things. But the, my message for today is that you you maintain your dignity. Um, you restore your dignity. You restore your pride. You reclaim the power that has been taken away from you. You be yourself and not be afraid of anybody. Um, not suck up to anybody and not be a slave to anybody. You can do it and I believe in you.